Bye. Okie doke. Anything else? Well, I'm on my way out. But Moosey had a list of things that he wants me to get today. Here I am, home again. And didn't get what I needed. Could be the last hurrah of, of winter fashions because I do have a couple of winter hauls that I picked up yesterday. I will do the final uh, clip of this video, which is removing my makeup with those special pads that have microfibers in them, as I told you in the last video. And they remove your makeup with just warm water. I did spend the day out, as I think I told you in my little car video. I went out to shop for Moosey. Moosey needed some clothes for some upcoming events that we have. And I hit five stores and one big one turned out to be closed in a mall that I went to, a Macy's. Drove all the way up to the mall and the Macy's had totally closed for good yesterday. So I was pooped. But in going through all of these five stores looking for some trousers for moose and a few other things, I managed to scam a couple of things for Ma. Just a couple of winter bargains. So I'm going to show those to you now. Well, before I begin to show you, I'll stand up and show you these things. You know, it's always more fun, I think, when you go out and you're not really hunting for anything. You have nothing in mind. In fact, you're shopping for someone else, as was the case yesterday. And then all of a sudden, something just, whoa, pops right out at you. You hold it up, you look at the price, and you gotta throw it in your basket. Well, that happened for this top. And the only reason that I got this top was because I found the bottoms and thought this looked great with it. Now, it's not too heavy, so I can probably get into maybe several weeks of spring with it. I don't really wear a lot of short sleeves anyway. And as you can tell from the last video and this video, I've started to dig out some of my old, old shell jewelry and beads and things. The earrings, I don't know whether you can see these, I'll get up closer later, and some shell bracelets and things. However, <clears throat> I still love all the other stuff. Here we go. What do you think of this outfit? Is this cute or what? And nice pockets and nice allure. They have the yoga bottom on them. And by the way, the slippers are new too, and I'll tell you about those. But I want you to see the leg on this side, and I don't know whether you can see it. Can you see it sparkle? It says in sparkly letters, and I'll try and hold my leg up, grateful. These pants are so comfy, and they are a dark gray velour. Just love them, and oh, so comfortable. Now, the shirt was a lighter gray, and it's a ribbed, kind of a light cotton. On the bottom, it has a tie, and you can pull it as tight as you want. Otherwise, it would be quite a bit longer, but I just thought this was great. And as I said, the jewelry is mine. I have to remind you. What? Remind you that I told you yesterday that I was grateful. Oh, why? Can you hear Moosey? He's over in Moosey's world. As I say, we're never more than 15 or 20 feet apart. Moosey said he, he was grateful to me. Because I love him. Because he loves because you're so good to me. Well, that's because I love him. But aren't these cute? Now I'm going to tell you a funny, funny secret. And Moose, you're going to get a big horse laugh out of this. Oh, oh, oh. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so the pants are so cute. Oh, by the way, $7.99. They were 50 or 75% off. Beautiful quality. Now, then I look at the tag. After I saw the price, of course, the price sold me. But when I got home, I looked at the tag. And look what it says. Can you read that? <laughs> I'm gonna say it out loud for Moose. 
these pants, Moose, are maternity pants. <laughs> oh. I, oh, he's laughing so hard. <laughs> you forgot to tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is hysterical. I would never have been in these with my 11 and 12 pound babies, that's for sure. I was out to here. And they also say party on there. So you're supposed to be able to party whether you're pregnant or not. And they're made by a, a company called Lark and Gray Maternity Clothes. But they were $7.99. I thought that was hysterical. And I'm sure most does too. Now the top was also $7.99. And it was 50 or 75% off. And the top was... Uh, the brand is New York Laundry, by the way, and um, <clears throat> so cute. But look at look at the the cute sleeves on this. I hope in this video you could you could read the the word the the printing that went down the leg. So cute. So now I'll show you. You you might not have been able to see the slippers, but I even polished my toes this morning for you, in, ca in case you got a close look. This resembles a Tory Burch shoe or slipper. I have a purse that has a similar uh, gold emblem on it, and everyone always thinks it's Tory Burch, one of the big time designers, but it's not. And neither are these. These were also $7.99, also reduced. Everything, I guess all the winter things, because they're fuzzy black, but they have that Birkenstock arch and that little built up thing they are so comfortable and by the way very whoops sorry <laughs> by the way very good for your feet if you have any kind of a, a problem you want a nice high arch like you need when if you have that plantar fasciitis so that was my burlington haul and I found something at Ross now, I can't remember. Oh, I have to show you that. I have to change to show you a pair of pants every time I go into Ross. And I didn't go into Ross for me. I went into Ross for my Mosey to try and find trousers for him. And, and by the way, I found them online when I came home yesterday. Everything that I went out to the stores to find, no luck whatsoever. I honestly think maybe online shopping is replacing <clears throat> shopping in a store. At any rate, it was a fun couple of hours, but I came home, pooped, and very dejected. I did manage to find a shirt for Moose, which he does love, but that's not what I went out for. We always loved Seersucker. Moosey, in our young days, and I think it was a couple years after we were married, Moose, and then later on, about 20 years after we were married, he had uh, one of those blue and white striped seersucker summer suits. Remember that? You had two of them, didn't you? Did you have one at Fort Knox or shortly after we came home? I had one for our honeymoon, but it was tan. The honeymoon. Oh, right. Our honeymoon. He did have a tan and white seersucker. And oh, you look so cute. And, and I saw a blue and white seersucker, kind of a button down shirt. Um, in Sears, believe it or not. And it reminded me of uh, his suits that he used to have in the summer seersuckers. False alarm in modeling my new pants. Actually, I'll tell you what they were. They do need to be steam pressed if I keep them. I'm not too wild about them. I just tried them on for the first time. But they're a pair of Anne Klein winter white gabardine pants, really nice high-end, that are originally $90 that I bought at Ross. Yes, good old Ross with those bargains. And I paid, I think, $9.99 for them. So, but they didn't look right on. So I changed and I just put on my trusty old cheetah sweater, which I love. So let me just finish up the video a little bit of the few other things I was going to talk about. I do have to go out and do a food shop. However, I'll leave the makeup on, and when I come back, I will do the final uh, clip of this video, which is removing my makeup with those special pads I showed you. And I don't have one here. I left them. Um, I left them in the bathroom where I'm going to probably film this. 
and they're, they're pads that have microfibers in them, as I told you in the last video, and they remove your makeup with just warm water. And then you reuse them. It said 200 times you can use them. And if you don't like using product of cleanser on your face, and I found out that my face feels better with just water. They do a great job. I've been using them for a couple of months now and they do get the makeup off. Now, if you prefer to use cleanser, um, just try these if you think you'd like them. So I'll, I'll do a demo later as the last part of this video after I do my food shopping. So I will put the clip on of the recipes and I'll just look at my notes to see if there was anything else. This is a recipe for a wonderful Sunday morning breakfast. Cook some bacon, crumble it, butter the muffin tins, saute some spinach and onions, Cut the crusts off some bread, roll it with a rolling pin nice and thin, pop them in the muffin tins, put the bacon in, then the spinach mixture, and then crack six eggs into the, the little muffin tins. Bake them at 375 for about 25 minutes until the egg whites the top of the morning to you. And the rest of the day to yourself. Ah, thank you. That was a wonderful breakfast. Did you like it? Hmm. Reminded me of something I had when I was a little boy. Just gorgeous. Good. It was a Martha Stewart magazine recipe. It right. uh, could be tweaked a little here and there, but I'll tell our friends the little pitfalls here and there. But it is St. Patrick's Day. You're right. And you say, no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Well, I lay that I know this. No, 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 never, no, no more. No more. <laughs> so, how have our birds been? I see the bluebirds been out today to yeah, say hello he, to you. He's savaging that bell. And he is. Today, I'm thinking about planting these, but I have to wait till a grandson appears to dump the dirt over in the rock garden. It's going to be a great place for our beautiful purple ice plant. I'll just look at my notes to see if there was anything else I wanted to add. Um, I did talk about the events that Moosey and I have coming up. And we're excited that we're getting out. And I hope all of you are too. I think that might be it. This not, might not be too long a video. When I was changing uh, my clothes, I noticed my hair was awful poofy. And you know, I used my dry shampoo and I wanna get fullness. And sometimes it makes it dry looking, but I do have this uh, spray to spray on your hair to give it some shine can't remember the name of it, but the next video, I'll bring it out. And I don't know whether it did anything. Sometimes if I run my fingers through my hair, it looks a little better than brushing it um, and give it a more relaxed look. It was a little too, when did I wear my hair like that in that big round bubble? 70s, 80s, something like that, I don't remember. Well, I just got back from the market. <laughs> and did the food shop that I was going to do yesterday. And I just carried in 14 bags of food plus a big bag of ice. So I figured I have done my weightlifting for the day <laughs> and I've also put everything away. That's the job I hate, more than carrying this stuff in from the car. So now I am about to go in the bathroom I think I'm gonna put my jammies on because it's late afternoon. And I bought some salmon, by the way, to eat salmon and avocados tonight with a nice big salad. And I am going to take my makeup off with those round makeup removers that do not require any cleanser, just water. So I'll go do that now and meet you in the bathroom.
So, okay, here we go. Uh, with, I have three sets that I have experimented with. One is the original Halo, and it's called Face Halo. So they're quite thin, and one side is microfibers, and I, I guess the other is too, but it's a little bit thinner. Maybe that's for eye makeup. These are the ones I've been using, and they're made by Elgato. And I think I got three of these, uh, plus I got a, a headband that's too small, so I have to wear this to keep the hair off my face. But uh, that also comes with a net bag and something else that I can't remember. And then there's the e.l.f., which are white, and I used these this morning, so these are a little bit wet. They're not dry yet, but look how clean they come. I take a bar of soap, and I rub it real heavily. This was covered in makeup. When you use the white, you really know that you get the makeup off. You can also dry them in the machine. That's why you probably want multiples in your bag. So here's the bag that comes with my gray Ogatos. And I'm probably going to use the Ogatos and then I don't have my, I have a tiny sink here, so we'll have to work on it. So I'm going to start right now. And you will see, I'm wetting this with warm water. I think I'll get over here. So you can see my face in the mirror. I tried to set this up this time. Okay, I see. I rinse it out a little bit. I have warm water on here, and I have the makeup on that I've had all day. Now you can see I still have blush on my cheeks. I have my concealer. I have my e.l.f. primer, lipstick and my shine. So here we go. I'm gonna start up here. Now, all you do is rub. So at the same time, you're probably exfoliating. There's no cleanser on here and you just rub. I also have a eyebrow pencil on, so I'm getting that off. Can you see the color already? See what it does, it's amazing. Rub it. Now I prefer not to put cleanser on. Now remember that yucky eye makeup on the eyeshadow that I forgot to look in the mirror before I recorded the last bit. Okay, well, look at all that coming off. This is amazing. So, do in by the nose. I'm trying to time myself so this doesn't go too long. All right, there you go. Under the chin, got the blush, oh yeah. I hate to show you all this makeup, it's not a pretty sight, but I just want to let you know that it does come off. Now, I like to just re-wet it. So maybe I'll use the other side, because it seems to be the other side is the same as this side. Now I'm working on this side with the blush under here, chin, lipstick, gone. See that? Look at this, and I think it's all off. Look how dirty these are, I mean, really. Now I'm gonna do the eye makeup. Now, Ogato gives you these little pads for the eyes, and I have uh, other ones over there that I've been using. I'm left-handed, as you can tell. So you put your hand in here like this, and you do your eyes wet it with warm water, and then you do the mascara. And you can also use the other one too. Now, I like to go down first and get the top layers. All right, and you can see it's coming off. And then up. And you don't have to rub too hard. But boy, it comes right off. You can see it. Amazing, isn't it? That you can do this with just water. Okay, now I'm gonna use this side. The top layer of the eyes. Usually I've noticed when people do this, they don't show the ugly makeup side, but I think it's necessary for you to see that it does work. And I feel now that my face is ready for my oils that I will put on my Nivea before I go to bed. That's it. I have a nice dial soap here. And I rub it very carefully. Rub it, look how it comes off. You see how nice and clean that is? 
Now I'm ready to put my Nivea on. I just want to show you a quick application of the Nivea, which is my face is already crying out for it. Isn't that weird? I just cannot wash my face or take a shower or do anything unless I have something immediately on my face and neck. It's so weird and I do go down on my neck and decollete. Oh, now I will vigorously rub. And this is where <laughs> I suppose you might use a machine, but I rub, I rub in by my 11s, rub my forehead. So I wanna close now. Lucy always says goodbye, reminding me to make it short. Thank you so much for watching. I know you all enjoyed the last video and thank you so much for all your sweet comments. I know you enjoyed the makeup and uh, the Get Ready With Me and all the other things that we did, my little confessions. And I know a lot of you were exactly like me. We, many of us sound like soul sisters, especially those of you who are in my age range where the memories of what we did back in the day all are the same and their your comments brought everything back to me i want to uh requote one of my followers her name is jilly beans her name must be jill and i thought it was really a cute take on jelly bean and jilly bean told me that her grandma used to tell her that even an old barn looks better with a new coat of paint. And I thought that was the cutest quote. So from Jilly Bean's grandma, that an old barn looks better with a little bit of new paint. Goodbye for now. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. God bless us all.